It's spicy, it's sweet. The scallions, the egg is just running through it. Mmm, I love the crunch. This is so incredible. It's almost like a Chinese dosa. Ni hao everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here in Shanghai, China. Today I'm going to take you to eat some delicious Chinese breakfast on Huangge Road. This is like the street food street here in the center of Shanghai next to People Square, next to Nanjing Road. So it's really central. I actually came here three years ago. We, me and my father stayed around here and we ate here literally every day. It's so good. They have like pork buns, they have delicious soups, like fish ball soups. They have jinbing, which is like a delicious crepe spicy savory like sweet crepe it's so freaking good they also have buns I mean, I'm super excited the only thing about uh, Shanghai now is that they've changed the laws here a lot so there's actually not really street food vendors like on the street anymore they're more like hole-in-the-wall restaurants you can see the restaurants all over the place this one looks really good they have buns these they all look great I mean and you can see everybody's eating a bun yeah bun with Where, mushrooms where'd you get that just right around the corner right around the corner yeah pretty good try it's cheap see i mean that's what everybody's doing here they're like coming here really fast they're getting a bun or whatever to go and they, they eat i mean that's what breakfast here is like and i'm actually staying right here i'm staying like two blocks away and i did it specifically because this place is amazing i really enjoy the food here when i came and now let's go find some food oh wow there's a line at this place what do they have all right we got one of those so, yeah so i don't know what this is but it looks great Okay, so the way it works here is basically you just you know pick a bun, you pay, and you go and you eat on the street. There's nowhere to sit. I just literally set up my camera on a scooter. And we're gonna eat here. Mhm. Mm Pork bun. Mm. So soft. On the inside, it's super juicy. Mm. I love the spice and and, the, and whatever like that sauce is is freaking delicious. It's a little sweet. Oh man, for two yeah. So good, very filling too. That's the problem with the bun. See, I'm gonna have two buns, but then I won't really eat that much more. Maybe I have one more bun. It looks so delicious. They all look so good. Mm. So that bun was so good. I'm gonna have to go for another one. I don't know what to get though. What's over here? Under? What is that? What is that? No, the one in the bottom. That one. Yeah. One. One. And this one, I have no idea what it is, but it looks so good. It really looks nice. So it looks so different. It's actually like some type of grain inside. You can see. Okay, so let's try this. It's a, it's a nice surprise. Whoa. It's almost like brown rice, like sticky brown rice inside this like dumpling. Look at that, it's so different. Mmm, really filling, very nice, not spicy at all. Mmm, so good. Wow. Basically, it's like a nice compact dumpling with sticky brown rice and some more like, it's like fine grains, a uh, little bit of like some herbs in there as well. I don't know, it's amazing. Drink, well, I'm good, I'm good. I'm like literally posting up right here on the scooter right here. And here's the shop. I mean, it's the only one I see on this side. There's way more over there. I see a bunch of other places. That bun hole in the wall is amazing. They have so many different varieties. I think they had like 25 different varieties. Every single one cost two yen. And they also had like eggs right there. The eggs looked phenomenal, but I didn't want to eat those eggs. I mean, I just wanted to have some buns and keep going and see what else I find. I really want to eat that pancake I told you about because the pancake is so good. What's up, man? <laughs> the pancake is so good, but I don't see it because they really cut back. Before, they used to have like actual like street food vendors on the street. Now there's nothing. It's just clean, and all the vendors are like they have like hole in the wall restaurants, as you can see. And over here, this looks great. Let's see what they have. Oh, we found the crepes. They're actually right here. Oh. Uh, 
This is the crib I was talking about that they had it on the street before. Now it's inside this restaurant. So this is a restaurant, but the vendor is like at the very end of the restaurant. She can't actually be on the street, but she's right here. And she's making this delicious crepe called Jian Bing. It's a savory crepe you can find at very small restaurants like this. It consists of thin batter, two eggs, crispy crackers, scallions, pickled vegetables, and hoisin sauce. It's a breakfast food and only seems to be available until 11 a.m. So until 11, I'm here at 7.30 in the morning. I'm so excited to eat this. This is what I ate every single day when I came with my father. It's ridiculous, so good, and it costs five yen, okay? So like almost a buck, and here it is. Oh wow, look at that, steaming. It's big, it's like a lot. So for five, they give you two, right? So I'm just gonna pull one out. Ooh, I brought hand sanitizer because I didn't want to like keep touching things and then touch this, right? Oh my God, it's spicy, it's sweet, the scallions, the egg is just running through it. Mmm, I love the crunch. This is so incredible. It's almost like a Chinese dosa. It has a lot of different things in here. We also got some cabbage as well. I love the scallions though and the crunch. Mmm. Super thin dough, very crepe style. This is like what I've been dreaming about for three years. The very end has a lot of sauce, that hoisin sauce. Let's have one more. Oh, why not? You can get it with this like nice cracker or with chicken. I like the cracker. And it's lighter. So this might be my favorite like pancake crepe of all time. I like some of the doses down like in Hyderabad. Those are like really amazing, but this Chinese style. Mm. Combinations of sweet spice, the vegetables, very filling. Done. That savory crispy crepe was so delicious. Jian Bing. It's one of my favorite dishes in Shanghai. And it's right here at this spot. And right across, we have this guy right here, and they're making scallion pancakes. So it's basically eggs with a scallion pancake on top. It looks delicious. I'm getting really full, but I need to try this. So I just ordered my scallion pancake. He has to make it right now, but before that, he's making some chive egg pancakes. They also have the leek egg pancakes, and then I'm gonna get the big scallion pancake. It looks amazing. And they also have something called a special snack, yudunzi, which is right here. And yeah, as you can see, he's frying it all up right here. And next up, we have the scallion pancakes. So as you can see, these big dough balls. So for the big scallion pancake, what he does is he puts it on this big pan, in a lot of oil it starts to like heat up right it's like basically like almost like deep fried in a way then after that he puts it under the grill and they're like baking down there wow this looks so good i can't wait to eat this oh it's a really filling breakfast so i found a good spot right here standing up put my camera on top of this like i don't even know it's not a garbage it's like a big electronic thing here and uh, here we have it, the scallion pancake, baked and fried. Look at that, oh my god. So you can see it's really crispy. You can see the scallions throughout. There's also some like yellow sauce they put into it. All right, let's try it. Whoa, overload of scallions. Mm. Crazy amount of scallions in here, as you can see. Like never ending. Wow, we love the dough because the inside is a little juicy and soft. The outside is very crispy. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like super deep fried. Any food that I eat that has scallions, I'm game. Oh, this is so freaking delicious. Extremely oily. I have wipes, but I also have hand sanitizer. So I just put that on, right there. The guy here cleaning the trash, I just gave him some trash. But, wow. Oh, what's up, my friend? <laughs> All right, let's continue our tour. Let me see what else I find. What I really wanna have right now, well, I, maybe I need a little break, but I mean, I can keep going. I'll have a soup. I'm gonna look for like a delicious like fish ball soup. That's what this place also has, a lot of soups. They have some more dumplings, some more buns. I need a break from like carbs. I've had a lot of carbs right now. So let's keep going and see where the fish ball soup is at. 
For me, the best part about this street is that you can have as many buns and dumplings as you want. There's so many places like these, as you can see. I mean, dumplings galore. Some of these places, though, you can't just buy one dumpling. You have to get like four minimum, and I'm pretty full right now, so I'm not gonna get four. And the, the other place with buns, the buns look so good, but they're all very filling. So what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for this restaurant called Jai Jai Dangbao, and this place is famous for their dumpling soups. They have so many dumpling soups, like fish dumpling, chicken dumpling. They have like duck blood soup. I mean, I'm just going there for like one soup. My main goal is to find it. It's a little difficult because it's like right here, but at the same time, it's almost impossible to find it. And we're saying to get here before 10 a.m. because it gets so packed. And it's uh, it's like 8.30 right now. I'm just like looking, I'm looking. So many restaurants, but I don't see Jai Jai Dangbao. Gotta find that. It's very difficult. Because here in China, you definitely have to have somebody that speaks Mandarin or you're gonna always get lost. Really difficult. And here's a restaurant. Dai Dai Jiang Bao is right here, number 90. It's this white building with red letters. I would never know this is the restaurant unless they tell me it's right here. So remember, number 90. Ni hao. So this is the restaurant Jai Jai Tang Bao. And as you can see, it is packed right now. It is nine in the morning and this place is overflowing with people. And right behind here in the kitchen, you can see them making like the dumplings. And I think, I don't know, I was a little confused because they it said shrimp and pork. I don't know if that's shrimp and pork soup dumpling or just shrimp and pork dumplings. People are getting soup, some people are getting dumplings. I don't know what I got, but it cost me 28 yen. So 28 yen, so talking about like five US dollars. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they're bringing me. Uh, it looks amazing and you can see the women behind the counter are just like going at it, making these dumplings. So cool and so packed, so packed. I think, I, like, I really hope it's soup because I need a soup right now. I mean, it is freezing, it's like 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, and I got a little table here. This is the only seat in the entire restaurant right now so they sat me here with this guy, which is cool. I'm just hungry. I asked the lady, I'm like, what did I get? She's like, oh, you just got the dumplings. So I said, okay, you know what? Let me get the dumplings plus the soup. So it's 28 for the 12 dumplings, shrimp and pork dumplings, and then another eight for a seaweed and egg drop soup. Yeah, I gotta do the combination because that's the way you do it. As you can see, the guy in front of me, he's eating his soup and mixing his dumpling into the soup. Oh, it looks so good. But this place is packed and I, I have somebody else just sat with me. So because the thing is that there's not enough tables and if you come as one, they sit you with whoever. Okay, so I just got my seaweed and egg drop soup. It's like really, really hot. Oh wow, this is so good. Look at that. Seaweed, egg drop, mm, steaming. Oh, the aroma of the seaweed. All right, let's try it. Mm, super crunchy and thick seaweed. It's a little too hot though. The soup is like really hot. Mmm, very sea, if you know what I mean. This is the ocean right here. Mmm, there's also some chili, right? So you get a little bit of chili, throw that on top, right there. Go in, get some of that. Mmm, it's like a nice chili flake, thick, dense sauce. Oh. Just the right amount of spice, like a five out of 10 in terms of spice level. Wow. And right here we have the dumplings. Ooh, they're really hot. So what they were telling me to do is to get this and then go in here, mix it with this, right? With that. Oh, they're really, really hot though. Oh, cool. That shrimp's amazing, but it's way too hot. You gotta wait a little bit. So they give you a little cup here too. In that cup, you gotta fill it up with soy sauce. Put it up. Oh, that's soy sauce. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna put this in here. These are like way too hot. Like way too hot. Let me grab another one of these, dip it in the sauce. Mm. Mm. As soon as you bite into it, it's filled like with like a soupy consistency inside. So it's like shrimp with like a burst of soup. Nice, super soft dumpling. Oh, so you get some of that seaweed. Like that. I'm gonna get some of these chilies and just put it straight on top. Like that. Why not?
It's good, but that one hit me hard. <laughs> the pork's really good too. I personally like the shrimp dumplings a lot better than the pork. Ooh. Like I said, this has been a hell of a breakfast to we'll walk this all off before lunch. Mm. I feel like I've been eating a lot of the shrimp ones. Pork, pork one is like, I've only had one, I've had a lot of shrimp. But I'm getting really full, I'm gonna take a break for a second. I gotta finish the soup. You know, I think this is way too much food for me for now. So I'm just gonna finish this last one and I'm gonna keep going. It really is like a really strong, punchy soup first. Mm. Ultra delicious, like, oh, so good. So good, this place is phenomenal. The soup's very nice too, especially for a really cold winter day. And I'm gonna be a little Chinese and do this. Bro, I got a lot of chili flakes right there. <laughs> wow guys, I am like exploding right now, really exploding. I don't know if I can eat anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a break for a bit and I'm gonna walk over to Najing Road. Najing Road is like the main pedestrian street here. It's right here, I was there last night. And uh, yeah, I just wanna go see it during the day. Now it's like it's starting to come alive. You know, it's Wednesday, it's 9.30 in the morning and people are starting to come out. You can see lots of people everywhere. People are running around, lots of scooters. Very little cars on the street just because it's more like a food street. So a lot less, way less cars and lots of skyscrapers just around us, you know? When you come to Shanghai, I highly suggest staying around People Square. This is the second time I visit Shanghai and this is the second time I stay here. And the reason for that is because it's right next to Nanjing Road, which you'll see now is like the main spot Everybody comes here. I mean, you have to come see this road. And because of the food in that street, the food in that street is so worth it. You know, if you stay at Airbnb, you have to obviously eat. So you go there. Then if you stay at a hotel, the hotel you're gonna spend like 30 bucks. And I spent less than like 10 bucks eating right now, which is amazing. So we made it here to Najing Road, the main pedestrian shopping street here in Shanghai. Najing Road sets an exemplary model for Asia's shopping scene. It is one of Shanghai's most famous shopping streets and the world's longest shopping precinct. It is about six kilometers long and attracts over one million visitors daily. It enjoys a history of over 100 years and used to be called Parker Lane. It was named Nanjing Road officially in 1865 and turned into a pedestrian only street in 1999. It starts at the Bund in the east and ends in the west at junction of Jangha Temple and Yangnan West Street. So here you have world famous vendors like KFC, McDonald's, upscale stores like Tiffany, Dunhill, so many more. I mean, you have food, everything. But right here, when you enter, you have an Avengers Endgame. Faces of the Avengers made out of Legos, which is freaking crazy. But then there's Black Widow. Then we have the Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Hawkeye. So amazing, this is made out of Legos. Look at that. They're really creative here in China. I mean, this is so cool. Avengers Endgame, right here in Shanghai. So here we have a life-size Thanos with the Infinity Sword, and he has the gauntlet on. But I don't know if they're gonna, if he's gonna have the gauntlet in the movie. They say he might not have it, so we'll see. I really love the marketing that Disney's doing with this new Avengers movie. It's freaking amazing. That Thanos is so cool, and the kid was like trying to rip off the gauntlet. It was funny. And as you can see, this is Najing Road. It's amazing, pedestrian-only street. We have like the biggest M&M shop I've ever seen in my life. Look at that, huge M&M shop, Pandora. Lots and lots of different shops. We have a lot of drink shops. So we have like a liquor store there We have a lot of little markets along the road and yeah, just a really cool street You can go up here go up and down How much for these? This 89 89 each? Yeah, not real soap. No, you know, I, I was walking and I found this little area where there's like souvenirs. These aren't real silk, but this is like really traditional, you know, Chinese outfit. So I'm buying two, one for each of my daughters. This one's for my one year old Sienna. This is for my three year old Melina. Really nice. I like it a lot. This is cool. And then each one's 89, so it's like 14 US dollars. It's a pretty good deal. I'll take it, my friend. Take both. Thank you. Pretty good deal, 89 each. I think it's worth it. This is like basically what I'm getting my daughters. Each one's gonna have one and we can, I don't know, wear it for Halloween or whenever they want. I mean, pretty cool. We dress them up like Chinese. They love everything China. My daughter's like pandas. I'm like, I'm not seeing pandas this trip. 
but uh, perfect. We've had such an adventurous morning today. We ate so many delicious things on Haung Road. I mean, so many good things. We started off with a pork bun, cost two yen. Then we had like a, a brown rice dumpling that was really strange but different. Another two yen. Then we had the delicious crispy pancake. Oh my God, it was incredible. Loved it and that one was five yen. And then we crossed the street, we had we had like a scallion pancake. That was so good too, four yen. And that was really greasy, but it was freaking delicious. And then I waited a little bit, I walked around, and then I went to this restaurant, Tai Tai, oh my God, Tai Tai something. So good too, had like shrimp and pork dumplings and a seaweed egg drop soup. I mean, really filling, especially with this cold though, I needed that because I'm walking a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was an incredible breakfast for less than 10 US dollars. 10 US dollars, we ate so much in that street. Then we came here to Najing Road, saw a bit of Najing Road, saw the Avengers like display there, bought some stuff for my kids. And yeah, that's the morning, guys. I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Shanghai, China. Shanghai. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. And how?